Let's take a look at what happened in the stock market this week as we look at the 60-minute uh, chart of the S&P 500. And you can see that there was a big dip in the middle of the week, but then the market stabilized. The market got a little help from Apple uh, during the end of the week, of course. Here you have the South African Rand uh, that crashed uh, at that point. And that uh, really put weight on gold. Uh, there were a lot of contagion fears. Italy bonds dropped. Then there was rumors here uh, that in Turkey they were going to release Reverend Brunson. That proved to be er erroneous, as uh, we've seen Turkey really double down on that. Uh, contagion hits Argentina, Brazil. Argentina raises rates to 45 percent and the markets get hit here on Monday. Turkish Lira stabilizes overnight here on Tuesday and we get a little bit of a lift as stability comes into the market there. Uh, then uh, again on Wednesday contagion starts to hit again. World markets drop led by the all the emerging markets. European banks very weak on their Turkish exposure. Turkey uh, hits back, raising tariffs on the U.S., uh, raising, doubling some of them. And they deny that Reverend Brunson release is coming. And U.S. tech stocks drop big. Tesla drops on an SEC subpoena. Then rumors or uh, something came out here on Wednesday that uh, a cutter was going to come to the rescue for Turkey with $15 billion. And that you can see help the markets as we got a, a, a rally in there off of those sharp overnight lows. So the market did recover there on Wednesday. Thursday, China and U.S. agreed to low-level talks. You can see that right over there. Um, that just simply means they're going to send a messenger boy over and see what they can talk about. It's so bogus. Uh, and then uh, we got markets recovering overnight. Walmart and Cisco had good, good earnings. We got between uh, those stocks and Apple, the Dow had the best week of all of the indexes, and Apple surge right in here on Thursday lifts the stock market. Then on Friday morning, uh, President comes out and, um, you know, with additional threats uh, because of Brunson's failure for them to release Brunson, the lira drops, and then chip stocks took over and they started to drop overnight. Uh, applied material earnings uh, and uh, declines in the chip group and Tesla down 5% uh, as the SEC opens an investigation. I've got more to say about that. And then Apple comes to the rescue. Apple rallied off uh, uh, some 10 points on Thursday and Friday before it started to back off a little bit, getting over 217 and it was truly Apple to the rescue that saved the market right there. So that is uh, a look at what happened during the week and you could see an early week plunge we had talked about the S&P 500 getting down to about 2821 it got lower than that uh, and then uh, made that recovery so that is a look at that 60 minute chart of the S&P 500 with the influences of what happened during the week for those people that are new watching this show we do cycle analysis and uh, very very important uh, that you get the sense for what we're doing when we look at these charts. They are the heartbeat of the market, the rhythm of the markets, and we look for these repeating patterns, and they have really strong messages. We look at multiple time frames. We're going to look really basically only at the weekly charts right now, which is really the core uh, of uh, what we look at. Follow me on Twitter at AskSlim. Become a subscriber on YouTube. We put up this show and some other things. You like what we show you here? Give us a thumbs up in there because uh, that helps us. Um, and you know, go to our website. You can see what our memberships are. And uh, if you'd like half price trials on our memberships, write me slim at slim.com. And money managers I, uh, and traders, I have uh, consulting packages and I also have coaching packages for traders. So make sure you look at that on our website also. Uh, I happen to have uh, an opening in no for uh, October and November for traders. Uh, so you can uh, look at that and decide if you want to be coached by me. We think that the likelihood of it maintaining this upward move is low based on the patterns that we're looking at. 
So there are these repeating cycles in here that you can see right there. That is the Dow cycle. It's 21 bars. You can see that right there. This cycle right over here is the S&P 500. It's 20 bars. What that means is that you get a low approximately every 20, 21 days. And these patterns have been recurring for quite a long period of time. You can see in here 22 days right here. That was a shorter one, 17 days. This was a longer one at 22 days. This one right over here, you can barely see that, was 21. Let me blow that up. You can see the 21 right there. And where are we right now? Well, we're at 11 right there. So that low, which almost broke down in the 11th day, we're now 13 days off that last low. The probabilities of it turning down again are very high when I look at that. And you can see that we you know, have this projected in a way that it's it's turned down already and this island that's right over there in those fib extensions is going to be the peak so right now you know these couple of days we've gotten a lift but we wouldn't be surprised if it turned down again in a significant way if it broke out above that to a higher high over that 2863 level that would be a very unusual condition and of course anything can happen but we think the odds are very high that the rally that we're seeing now right there is going to fail. We're going to look for a decline this week and we're looking for a decline through sometime around midweek or Thursday uh, to test those lows uh, right around the 2800 to 2810 area uh, and then getting into some kind of a downward shop. Notice right over there where we have this little message of the risk increasing out there. That is in September where we think the risks are for the market are much higher. Right now they're kind of choppy but then the risks really go up right at that point. So that is uh, a look at the S&P 500. We're going to look for a small down week in here uh, as uh, the markets still continue to uh, resist the negative news that are out that's uh, out there. Going to the city and I'm going to do a